Hi guys, welcome to Plan With Me November. It's been a while, I guess, exactly a month, and so I'm just going to go ahead and start setting up. So for this month, I thought a little bit about what I wanted to do for the theme, and for some reason, I couldn't get pine cones out of my head, so you'll see a lot of those little guys dispersed throughout the design. I went ahead and did what I usually do for my monthly and had a mini calendar. And the only thing different about this opening page is that I decided to put my highlights at the front of the month instead of the back. I found that the negative space was not something that I needed too much. Yeah, and um, this is going to be the classic bullet journal style monthly that I've been doing for the past few months. I enjoy how simple it is to set up and fill in. I'm not quite sure what I'll put at the bottom of the opposite page, but I'm sure it'll be something along the lines of a note section, maybe even a grocery section. It kind of just depends on what I'm feeling in that moment. The next spread is going to be my project spread, and I decided to do away with the chart that I've had for the past couple of months for a couple of reasons. I just don't really use it. I mean, I look at it in terms of seeing how many projects I have, and I think, wow, wow, that's a lot of projects. But I, did, I didn't actually use it to track milestones the way that I would like to. So I just left this a big blank spread so that I could write down the goals I have and the milestones I want to reach. And again, I decided to do a few lines a day because I loved watching the pages fill up with words. And it was also just a really good habit for me to develop just to sit down once a, once a day, write down a couple sentences about how I felt or anything exciting that happened. So I'm looking forward to filling that out again. And because we're in a smaller notebook, this takes up a few pages, so about two and a half total. And I'm probably going to put goals at the bottom of that page as well, right after the few lines a day. And I decided for the final page that I'm just going to do a list. So I did that nice little serif, capital L, for a list, and I'm probably just going to put anything I can possibly think of on this page. And now I'm actually going to set up a weekly dashboard, which is something I've been doing, I think, halfway through September, but definitely got into the groove of it in October. So what I like to do is have my events on the top left, and on the bottom of the left page, I like to put my habits because I am not a monthly habit type person. On the right page, I track my health and I have a running to-do list. This has kind of been my standard dashboard and I've loved it. It's just been super easy to set up and just really intuitive. Finally, I just wanted to do a quick flip through of October because I know you guys are probably curious what my weeklies and dailies ended up looking like. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and I hope that you will like subscribe and visit our social media. Thanks guys. See you next time.